Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Cars Art. Today we're behind the wheel of the 981 Porsche Boxster GTS. And I believe that this may very well be the most underrated sports car of its time. And it's easy to understand why. Porsche Boxster GTS comes as standard with Porsche Sport Chrono Package, active suspension management, as well as a factory fitted sports exhaust system. Horsepower is up from 315 in the Boxster S to 330 in this. Torque is up to 273 pound feet as well. As a collection of numbers, then, the Boxster GTS really isn't all that special. 0 to 62 miles an hour in a claimed 5 seconds and a top speed of 174. Even for 2014, these stats aren't really worth a second look. But you see, that is where you'd be wrong to dismiss the 981 Boxster GTS. Because this car is far greater than just the sum of its numbers. First off, let's start with the relationship between that 7-speed PDK and that 3.4-liter flat-six engine. Porsche's PDK has been widely acclaimed as the best double-clutch gearbox in the business. And from where I'm sitting, it's easy to understand why. I mean, this particular model is getting on for seven years old, yet still that gearbox is far better than almost anything else I've ever experienced. The transition from one gear to another is, it's seamless. It doesn't feel like you're going through a gear, rather it feels like you're cutting through butter with a hot knife. Absolutely impeccable. And then there's that engine, the 3.4 liter flat six that revs to as near as makes no difference, 7,600 RPM. What a beauty of an engine it is. And yes, the way it revs is amazing, but the sound it makes, the snap on upshifts, and then the overrun, the gurgles on the downshift. Very old school race car, dare I say, the noise this car makes. Yeah, fine, granted, the car doesn't make an exorbitant amount of horsepower. It's only 330, which in today's day and age does not sound like much. But in my opinion, that plays in this car's advantage because you really have the ability to drive this car at the ragged edge, drive it hard without going too far over the speed limit. And drive it hard you'll want to because at the end of the day, this is a Porsche. Now I know what you're thinking. Here's another car guy riding Porsches because Apparently, that's all the internet seems to do. That's all automotive journalists seem to do. A new Porsche comes out, they drive it, they love it, end of story. It's sort of getting old, and I understand that. Trust me, I do. But frankly speaking, I don't have a choice when it comes to this car. It truly is amazing. Now, I grew up watching Jeremy Clarkson, a man whose hatred for Porsche knows no bounds. And as a result, I was never really a fan of the brand as a whole. Yeah, I liked the one-off Porsche Carrera GT while growing up, but that's really about it. I never paid too much attention to Porsche. That was until I drove one. Until I drove this exact one. This is the first experience I ever had in the Porsche lineup, and my goodness. There's something about Porsche, that DNA, the intangible DNA, that makes their cars what they are, that, dare I say, puts them a peg above the competition, including the likes of Ferrari. Fortunately for me, that same DNA has trickled down into the Boxer GTS. This car is constantly asking you to go faster. Maybe it's down to the fact that Porsche's motorsport division had a hand to play in the development of this car. Or maybe it's down to the fact that it's simply just a Porsche. And all you want to do is drive it as hard as you absolutely can. Now, as much as I love this car, it's not without its flaws. This car is a 2014 and it lacks Bluetooth audio connectivity. I mean, 
I'm in 2020 right now and I have to use an aux cord to listen to my favorite music. That's absolutely stupid. And then there's the fact that it lacks a reversing camera. Yes, I'll admit it was an optional extra that hasn't been fitted. But even still, for a car that cost, what, $80,000 new? And for it not to have a reversing camera? I mean, Porsche, you gotta up your game there, buddy. But that's really as far as the flaws go, in my opinion. And as far as what my favorite part about this car is, well, I simply cannot fixate on just one favorite part. The entire car is my favorite part, if that makes any sense. Everything comes together to form a package that is truly out of this world. Let's start with the steering. I mean, you want to go there, boom, you can. And it's razor sharp and it's also extremely communicative. Something which is very rare and hard to find in today's day and age. Every bump, every undulation on this road is communicated through the steering rack to the driver. And it, it's a surreal feeling. And then there's the PDK and that glorious, glorious engine. Something about it almost feel old school, old school race car, like I said earlier. Obviously not the PDK, I mean, it's as modern as it comes. But that engine has been tuned in a way to make it feel very old. But the best parts about the old cars. The icing on the cake for me is the fact that this car is a convertible. Because it wasn't designed to shatter lap records or to destroy tracks, racetracks all over the world, the convertible adds this much needed drama to the car that you would miss otherwise. And you don't really lose much in the way of automotive or structural rigidity, sorry. This car, even besides being a convertible, is able to cock a wheel when it's up on a speed breaker. That is a testament to the engineering that Porsche put into this chassis, for it to be so stiff even though it is a convertible. I don't get it. Somehow the 981 Boxster GTS was able to slip under the radar without getting the attention it deserves. It could just be down to the fact that the car really is on paper nothing special. It can be very easily disregarded. Or maybe it's down to the fact that this car has that girl's car stigma associated with it that you hear far too often. But at the end of the day, what this car is, is an absolute smashing sports car, but one that is very, very underrated. I love the Boxer GTS. In fact, I still ponder over why I sold this car. The way it looks, the way it drives, the way it sounds, everything about it is near perfect. It is the embodiment of the fact that numbers can never and will never convey enough about an automobile. Thank you so much for watching guys, cars are out.